Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Wednesday, May 15th, 2024, the Memorial of St. Isidore. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, to whom belongs all creation, and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us. Inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 17, verses 11b through 19. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the Son of Destruction, in order that the Scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today we delve into a very moving part of John's Gospel where Jesus, in the final moments with his disciples, prays for them with deep love and concern. And this prayer is given as he prepared to leave the world, and it provides a window into his heart for his followers and his desires for all of us. Jesus took great care to protect those who were entrusted to him, and he successfully guided his apostles and kept them safe under his watchful eye. Now he's seated at the right hand of the Father, and he continues this mission of protection. He intercedes for us and advocates on our behalf. And we are not alone in his care. We also have the support of his mother Mary and all of the saints. And these aren't just figures or relics from the past. They're active participants in our lives who are guarding and guiding us. As Jesus faced his departure from this world, he didn't pray for his disciples to be removed from it, but prayed for their protection against the evil one. Life often feels like a battleground where we're facing various trials and temptations, and it's easy to feel beaten and to seek escape. Yet, Jesus calls us to stand firm and to engage in the struggle. He doesn't isolate us from challenges. Rather, he equips us with the strength to face them. He's right there with us in every trial, and he provides the courage that we need to endure and to thrive. He dwells within us, and He offers the internal resilience that's necessary to fulfill His will. We need to remember that we're merely travelers here on earth. Our true home is with God in heaven, and our time here is temporary. We have a mission in this transient home to lead others towards salvation, and it's easy to become enamored with the comforts of life and to seek peace in earthly pleasures rather than in spiritual fulfillment. The world with all its allurements can be a distraction from our heavenly goal, and that's why prayer must be central in our lives. It keeps our hearts focused on what truly matters. So inspired by today's gospel, let's make a personal resolution. 
And today, let's reach out and share the love of Christ with someone. Let's spread the good news of his protection and love and remind ourselves and others that we're supported by an entire host of heavenly saints. And so today, let's pray that we will not get sidetracked by the comforts and attractions of this world, but that we will keep our focus on our eternal home with Christ. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.